they exchange fire together. And when he jumped to the car, it seems like, I don't know if somebody else in the car started shooting too. And I see that um, the guy took the money and took his life. Now at six, a son in mourning this after his father is shot and killed outside his Miami store. The victim's son believes his dad was targeted. He likely had substantial amount of cash on him. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo has more on the search for a shooter. And it's hard to believe that he's never going to be home no more. It's really hard for me. This Castaneda family is heartbroken. Walter Castaneda Jr. says his father's life was taken over money. You know, he was just about to turn 65. He was going to just retire. He was a nice guy. Very um, respectful. I mean, he had like a great heart. His son says he was a hardworking man and gave his earnings to his family. Walter Castaneda Sr. owned this Boost Mobile for years. His son tells us he would always walk out with a sash of money. Surveillance video shows a 64-year-old walking out Friday night just moments before he was shot. Um, when he was like in the front, an individual um, came with a gun and asked him for the money. So I think like they hambled together and they had a little argument and it seems like the guy shoot my dad first. The son was not able to share their surveillance video but says captured on tape, you see his father fall to the ground trying to defend himself. They exchange fire together and when he jumped to the car, it seems like I don't know if somebody else in the car started shooting too and I see that um, the guy took the money and took his life. This was a scene Friday night as Miami police responded to 12th Avenue and 5th Street. The 64-year-old was rushed to a nearby hospital but did not make it. His son hopes they find the person responsible. And I just don't understand how people can just in one day just in minutes destroy somebody's life. And flowers have now been placed where it all happened. Again, the son believes that there were other people waiting inside a white Toyota Camry. If you have any information, police are asking you to please come forward. In Miami, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 this morning.